I am Elizabeth Spelke and I study babies. So my training is in um, perception uh, and cognition. Perception with one of the greatest infancy researchers of all time, Eleanor Gibson. Uh, cognition uh, with both Gibson and Ulrich Neisser, great uh, cognitive psychologist. So my background and my research questions all come from those fields, uh, but from the very beginning of my work I found that uh, asking babies those questions can be a really excellent way of getting insight not only into infants and human development, but also into our cognitive and perceptual capacities as adults. I think the most fundamental question is still to be answered, which is we've learned a lot about what infants know at different ages. This is important to know and we've learned a lot about that. We've learned much less about how infants know. What I think we can hope to achieve over the next 40 years is a deeper computational understanding of how infant minds work and what it is about the way infants' minds are structured that allows them to function, to bring babies a new knowledge of the world and to guide their learning. And I'm also most hopeful about progressively closer and closer alignment between the study of uh, cognitive development in infancy and the study of cognition as it takes place in other disciplines, in computer science, looking uh, uh, where people are attempting to, to, to build cognitive capacities and learning capacities into machines, in anthropology, where people are asking what's universal in our cognitive capacities and what's variable, uh, in fields like linguistics, where people are asking what are the conceptual foundations that allow humans to uh, learn language, and then allow us later to use language um, uh, in part as a tool for understanding the world and in basic abstract disciplines like philosophy where we ask what is knowledge and in what ways are, are we humans able to get access to it.